not just our children, but some of our adults, who are scared to lose. And the reason why they're scared to lose is because every single thing is put on social media. So not only do you lose once, but you lose a thousand times. Violence. The riots. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Welcome to General's Corner. I am General Mike Payne, leader of the original Black Panthers. And first, I want to apologize for our absence. We have been gone for a little while. We've been extremely busy. There's been a lot going on and we have a lot to catch up on. So without any further ado, I am going to start off with talking about <sighs> our kids and some of our adults have what I call a scared to lose complex. And with this scared to lose complex, it's creating mass amounts of violence in our communities. Not just in our communities, but our shops, our offices, our schools. We're having constant violence. And one reason, not all, but one reason is the scared to lose complex. See, there was a time period, and I'm sure some of you are old enough to remember or recall when we would have an issue with one another and we would scrap it out. We'd knuckle up. We'd put our hands up, win, lose, or draw, we'd get it. And sometimes we'd end up being friends with the people we fight sometimes. Hey, we just don't like you and we're going to forever not like you. Sometimes every time we see each other, we're going we gonna to do it again and again until that person that keeps losing tries to get a win. But regardless of what, it was respected. Now, we're in a different age. We have not just our children, but some of our adults who are scared to lose. And the reason why they're scared to lose is because every single thing is put on social media. So not only do you lose once, but you lose a thousand times. You lose a thousand times over. So if this young man or young woman takes an L, they get beat. They have to rewatch it and relive it over and over and over again. And those that film it think, well, I'm going to get some likes off of this. I'm going to get this, that, and the third. Some of them filming it say they film it because they want you to relive it over and over again. There is no more honor amongst thieves. There's no more code of the streets. Everybody's breaking that all day, every day. So with this issue, we're having extreme problems and we're seeing a lot of gun violence because nobody wants to take a loss. We're seeing our children scared to death to lose, especially on camera. So therefore, they grab a gun and they protect themselves. They make sure they don't lose or can't lose. But what that makes the other person do, who, who knows they most likely might win this fight or this battle, they automatically come with a gun too or a knife or whatever it is. So we're having both sides now scared to lose. And both sides coming with the biggest amount of artillery or ammo that they could come with. And now you're seeing a higher rate and a bigger, uh, 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 you see escalated violence. So, we have to look at this and we have to look at how we're raising our children and we have to look at how we were raised uh, as children. What was our moral code? What, what was what was our uh, ethics and our ethics in the street or, or with conflict and solving conflict? Right now, you should be able to 
go to somebody, put the put that weapon down and say, hey, let's get it. You got an issue with me? I got an issue with you. And I'm not condoning fighting. I mean, of course, uh, you know, solving things verbally is a great thing. If that can happen, great. But if you have to commit harm to one another, if that's something you just feel has to happen, at least this way you live to see another day. That's the point. Once you pull that trigger, once you take that man's life, two lives are taken. The one that goes to the grave and the one that goes to the penitentiary. And then you can add maybe two more lives to that if those uh, two individuals had children. Because nine times out of ten, they're growing up without their mother or their father or whatever, what have you. And they end up in the penitentiary. It's a complete cycle. Uh, this doesn't happen in every case, but it happens in many cases. So we have to think about this. The scared to lose complex is real. We cannot be scared to lose. We have to stand on our own two feet. We need to stand up like real men and stand up like real women. Same thing for our young queens and our young kings. They need to do the same. They need to be taught what a real man is and what a real woman is. And if we aren't teaching them that as parents, then we're failing them. And if we're out there showing them the example of what I'm talking about, then we're still failing them and ourselves. And that nine times out of ten means somebody failed you. So what we need to do is think about what our children are listening to musically, what they're watching on TV, but mostly musically. You know, you got to you got to control what your kids are listening to, because a lot of it is complete, violent, idiotic bullshit. I'm not even going to try to find another word for it. Um, and. You know, I'm not going to go into that. That's a whole other topic. But we have plenty of enemies to aim at. Okay? And it's not each other. So, one thing, and the only thing that I'm talking about today is the scared to lose complex. Now, I do know, you know, we have to look at poverty and, you know, uh, look at... Uh, lack of resources and you know all, I know all these other things exist I know about the criminal element that surrounds certain neighborhoods and uh, I know about the uh, I, I know about all that of course you know about all that but this is something that I believe we're neglecting to even think about our children are scared to lose they're scared to stand up and fight and although you may say fighting is not always the answer and not right, you live. The death rate is far lower. It's, it's, it's lower risk. Right now we have our children out here just shooting at each other, taking lives and feeling no remorse for doing so. It has to change. And everything starts at home. Your, your child wakes up, leaves out your door. That's the first thing. And then at night or in the evening, he returns, she returns. But during that time in that house, lessons need to be instilled in that child. And we have to, uh, we have, we have to give them the right lessons. And we have to teach them not to be scared to take that loss. And as far as the recording, you know, it sucks. I saw a video that was sent to me where it was called Beat Them, I guess Beat Them Out Their Clothes or whatever. 
and some kids degraded some young man and poured juice all over him, stumped all over him, beat him up, jumped him, uh, called him all type of little derogatory female names. Uh, and all the kids sat there and laughed about it, thought it was something, I guess, cool to see. But what you don't realize is now this child that was chastised, chastised in that way, degraded in that way, assaulted in that way, really has no nowhere to, to, to move. Like, what can he do now? That child can either murder those that did that to him to get some of that pride and dignity back. That child can either do that or move somewhere clean, clear out of, out of state and hope to God nobody recognizes him from that video. Or they'll become a recluse and, and you know, sit in a corner and just be, uh, just sit there and feel like a victim the rest of their life. Or they'll be, become a complete monster and do what was done to them, to other people. Those are the options. Those are the options. And not everybody has money to move. So what are you left with? Retaliation? You can't just go fight each individual for something like that. They didn't rip you butt naked out your clothes and did all these different things. You can't, even if you did win, look what was done to you. So some of the, the, the different things that we're looking at is cool customs, uh, I guess as you, you could call it, that our children are doing are, are, are sick and ridiculous. And we need to do something about it. We need to get on our children. We need to do something about it. Our kids are running around in these little packs and these little different uh, affiliations, whether it's gang or whatever, whatever it is. As parents, how do you not recognize this? We got to do better. You have to be able to see these signs. You got kids running around with guns the size of their leg. And you don't know they have it? We got to do better. In closing, we have to have the courage to take a loss. And we have to be valiant in our victories. And we don't need to spread it across social media. Word of mouth is enough. Even when we get these videos, we should just stop sharing them. We should stop liking them. Because that's what some of these people are out for. They will sell their people out for likes and retweets. Little hearts and emojis. That's, a, that's the day we're in. So we need to look at that. So that's all I have. Thank you for watching General's Corner. All power to the people. This is General Mike Payne, Mike leader Payne. of the original Black Panthers, Panthers addressing Panthers. all soldiers from across the nation. And we are in a fight for our lives, a fight for our freedom. freedom. I'm bringing to you rebel music as a call to all people to stand up and fight back. This is our battle cry. Battle cry. You the biggest gang in the city. Y'all bang like we bang. The boys in blue, a street gang. For all my warriors, all my queens, rebel check music. out a Asada. Asada. Cause I know she's a rider Engraved in our rings It says death before dishonor She's strong and from the bottom So she knows just how I feel A queen in the house But a soldier in the field I like my women like the sun Percentage of the proceeds will be donated to a Panther political prisoner who has been fighting for his freedom since the late 60s. Rebel me, rebel me. You can find this on all streaming platforms. You can reach us at theoriginalblackpanthers.com, mikepain.com, Facebook, YouTube, and IG under the same name. Now back to your regular broadcast.